Well, coming off one of their toughest stretches of the season, five games in seven nights, the Flames return to a more normal workload here this week, just three games on tap starting tonight. Hi everyone and welcome to Game Day brought to you by your Alberta Ram dealers. Brendan Parker getting his set tonight for a date with the Devils. Of course, the New Jersey Devils and Calgary Flames as they open up a three-game week to the Flames. A Devils team that they will play for a second and final time this season. The first meeting came earlier this year on one of the extended Eastern road trips for the Calgary Flames and were victorious in that one. As for the Devils, well, they're playing the second half of back-to-back -back games. It was a 6-3 loss last night at the hands of the Vancouver Canucks. In fact, it has not gone well for the Devils north of the border so far this season. Just one and four on the year and in the middle of this Western Canadian road swing, this number two of three games. And as for the Calgary Flames, they've loved playing the New Jersey Devils as of late. In fact, seven consecutive wins against this club and hopefully rested up after a couple of days away from game situations. It was an off day on Monday, practice day on Tuesday, a rare two days off in this busy month of March. As mentioned, five games in seven days last week and then three games this week. But the good news is eight of their next nine games are going to be played here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome and an opportunity to continue to build on what they've already put in place. We still have uh, almost a quarter of the season left. You know, um, it's easy to look ahead when things are going well and and it's uh, you know it's great to be excited. It's understandable and um, but at the same time we still have a job to do and we still need to put ourselves in a in the best possible uh, position to give ourselves a chance to succeed come playoff time. So, um, you know, you don't want to be limping into playoffs. You want to be playing your best hockey. And uh, I'd say for the most part over the last, whatever, two months or so, it's been uh, been good Flames hockey. And, you know, you, you throw out that last game um, and it's been really good. So, um, you know, I think our focus is just day to day right now. Um, you know, we've been a pretty good team about not being too high, not being too low. And I think that just keeps to keeps playing all the way down. Here's a look at who to watch tonight for the Devils. Jack Hughes, who missed the earlier meeting between these two teams due to injury, but has produced some big points since then. Over a point per game, 46 in 40, including seven in his last five games. He's also just two points away from the 100-point mark in his career. Of course, the first overall pick back in 2019. And for the Calgary Flames, Andrew Mangiapane, he has led the Calgary Flames offense, or at least did so against the Devils in their prior meeting, had a pair of goals. He also sits on 29 snipes on the season, which sits, of course, second place on the Calgary Flames. Elias Lindholm leads that mark with 30. In terms of the lineup tonight, it was an optional skate this morning, but based on what we saw yesterday, it looks like we'll see Oliver Shillington return to the lineup after he missed the last two games with a lower body injury. Adam Razichka also recalled. Looks like he'll draw in for the Flames tonight as well. As far as the starting goaltending situation, expecting to see Jacob Markstrom. We'll learn more about the Devils lineup when they get here later tonight, of course, with back-to-back -back games didn't skate this morning and they'll have plenty of time to rest up because it's an eight o'clock start tonight on a Wednesday. Devils flames tonight.